Hello friends, so today we can discuss this problem from the UBA online judge problem name rat attack. So you can pause the video and like read the problem statement but in simple terms the problem statement states that you are given a grid of fixed size the area of that is 20, like 2025-2025 so there are rat colonies on this area and they are at certain uh, like coordinates so as you can see in the input you are given like at which position what rat colony is and what is the size of that rat colony so as you can see at 4,4 there is a rat colony of size 10 at 6,6 .6, there is a rat colony of size 20 and so you have to place a bomb to like uh, like kill those rats but you cannot kill every rat but the bomb has some strength of like strength of size d so when we blew a bomb at any coordinate then it will form a square whose length and width is of size 2d as you can see if this is d this is 2d so this is 2d so it forms a square of size 2d if we like place a bomb at any position so you have to find out a position at which we, we want to place our bomb such that we can maximize the number of rat kills so that's the main question and you have t test cases and you have to find out so uh, if you observe this question like as you can see if uh, there is a rat colony like at this size of size 10 uh, let's assume and uh, then there is another rat colony here of size 10 and size 10 so if we place a bomb and d is equal to 1 if you place a bomb here then it will only kill this 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 matrix if like there is a block cell here i hope you understand this if there is a cell here it will form a square it will kill only these positions this ninth position because the size is d equal to 1 and it will form this uh, matrix uh, like square so 1 plus 1 minus okay so now what will be our solution can be we can easily find out for every position uh, at where at all what positions if we place a bomb this colony will, will get killed so like for example if i place a bomb here will this colony get killed if i place a bomb here will this colony get killed so what our strategy can be for this colony when we are given that at this co coordinate there is a colony we will make a square around it and update every square with this value of 10 which means if i place a bomb at any position in this square it, in this square this colony of size 10 will get destroyed and we kill a total of 10 rats. I hope you understand so then this for every coordinate will do the same thing and will update this matrix in final we will iterate over the whole matrix and find out the maximum coordinate and maximum number of mice killed because every position stored uh, what are the mice killed if we place a bomb at any position so if i place a bomb here it will kiss, kill this colony but if there is a colony here of size 20 will uh, like for this coordinate will again iterate over all the blocks which are in this grid and then iterate and then like update its value so if it value will be 20 it will update to 20 so it means if i place a bomb so it will update to 30 because we will add this so what this means if we place a bomb here this colony will also get killed and this colony will also get killed and our score will be 30 because this colony is in this range and this colony is also in this range there's an intersection here so we can update this whole matrix so that's our main logic let's code it out and you will be more clear how we will do this so in the starting what we are given we are given that there are t test cases Yes, yes, yes. 
and for each of the test case what we are given we are given d and we have to first make this matrix so we can name this matrix we can make a vector vector and because the colony size is very small uh, like small so we can like make it int and then we can kill and the size will be 2025 vector of int 2025 then what we'll do is we'll iterate uh, we'll take the input of d uh, then we'll take the input of n the number of coordinates then iterate over each coordinate for each coordinate take the input of the coordinate and the power like the like the score will get for the size of the colony there actually so what we'll do is we'll iterate over this square so j is equal to x minus d till j is less than or equal to x plus d j plus plus for int k is equal to y minus d k is less than equal to y plus d k plus plus and then if this because now we have it now we will iterate over the whole square of size d uh, not size d uh, like the square which will be formed after the bomb explosion so we will iterate over every like cell but it should be within our range so how we can check the range so j should be greater than or equal to 0 and j should be less than 2025 k should be greater than 0 and k should be less than 2025 then if this condition is satisfied kill of ij plus equal to this value which is z then after this what we have to do is int maxi is equal to 3 and the coordinates can be 0 comma 0 then iterate over the whole matrix which is i equal to 0 till so i less than 2025 20, J plus 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 and if at any position fill of ij is greater than the maximum we have found so update the maximum and update the indices after this we we'll just have to output answer for chapter output are coordinates and the maximum value and next time. Let's try to put the test case. Answer is okay, I think so. I've done something wrong. Okay, sorry. This and this should end here.
0.563 okay that's that the code i think so i don't have done something now and it it over the combination i z is input from j x t j for j from j k plus plus J is less than equal to this. Okay. This is the bracket closed. Then maximum J. You find out that the maximum I J and So the code is correct. Let me just once again check it. Yeah. So I found out actually it is not I J it's J K because we are treating words J and K. So now if you like submit this, it is giving the correct answer. So I have like checked it. You can see this accepted. If you still have any doubts, please mention now. Thank you for watching this video. I see you next one. Bye.